Hello everyone and welcome to the final part of New Pokemon Snap. We're doing the Illumina Boss Arena for the uh, last real island and then the kind of the mini area. Because then it's just like a ruins area and then the actual final boss. Oh, I see. So the Illumina spot takes place in the cavern system. Yes. Noibats. Uh, Noibats Noi! are annoying. Avoid the Noibat. Oh, God. God. Man. <laughs> I wonder what Crash to, Bandicoot's here. Pokedex entry is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that from the Yo Noid uh, mention. <laughs> well, they're in the same video game now. It's not wrong. So the boss is Steelix. Oh, that's a good one to choose. Yeah, so our bosses are uh, Neganium, Melodic, uh, Volcarona, uh, Wishy Washy, and Steelix. <laughs> Wait, you Steelix know, is the final boss of the game? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, in so the far. middle of that imposing list of names, Wishy Washy sounds odd. <laughs> it just kind of sticks out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steelix just. Stuck his head out and grinned to the camera there. Yeah, no, Steelix is probably the hardest boss of the game, though, because he moves really fast. You see, that's not accurate to the video game because his speed stats are very low. Look. I'm sorry, I'll stop. This is just a super hyper... Well, you can't, because we need for the commentary. This is a super hyper intelligent <laughs> Steelix who recognizes his own evolutionary disadvantage and has rigorously EV trained himself to have as high a speed stat as possible. I mean, but even at max EVs, what's the highest does his speed potentially Not get? Not much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the thought, so. You can't say he didn't try. That was a good picture. Yeah, this one's kind of... It's the hardest one, but it's also the one of the duller ones because you're just kind of going along a cave. Uh, it's kind of the problem with the Pokemon Snap boss fight situation is that you're really just trying to take pictures of one Pokemon throughout the whole thing, but you can only hand in one picture. So if you get a good one early on, the rest of the level is just you kind of... Waiting. Well, no, you can end the stage. You, no, you can end the stage if you want. Oh, can you? Yeah. Ah. Oh. So why aren't you doing that? Because I'm showing the course. Oh. This is a commentary group, not a high score group. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you weren't into speed running looks. Apples. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Caves, crystals, yeah. question mark. Oh, we're oh, down to we're just Arnold Schwarzenegger on level yeah. <laughs> commentary just... now. This is when I went through the cave. I was I taking imagine... pictures of Snorlax. I put things up and put them down. I just imagine the the protagonist of this game being given a tutorial by Wheatley. And um, he tells you to say Apple. And you just throw it in his fucking face. <laughs> Didn't get like 15 pictures. <laughs> it was like, uh, it, that was closer than the last guy. <laughs> oh, actually, that, that boss arena didn't take too long, did it? It no, took about three, four minutes. It wasn't as long as the wishy-washy one. Although the wishy-washy one was more interesting purely because it was wishy-washy and they could do more with that Pokemon conceptually. <laughs> There's a Crobat in there? Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, I can see the Joltik in there, but um, sure. Okay. Have they announced any DLC or anything like that for this game? Nope. Okay, because I feel like that. I, I, I assume there isn't because they didn't announce anything at E3. 
I feel well, like Pokemon that. Well, really Pokemon weird, always but... does its own thing. It doesn't like to sort play of by it's the rules. W- sort of, it's weird. But it's one of those things where I think Snap, since it's a game that's already out, they would have. If they were going to do something, they would have announced it relatively quick after. Well, the I mean, to be fair though, they didn't. You know, I don't. I haven't played Gen Eight, but they didn't announce the expansions of Gen Eight as after like as Gen Eight was being released. The thing is, um, it being pandemic year. Uh, developers aren't necessarily as um, gung ho about making plans like that ahead of time. Like Capcom didn't really decide that Resident Evil Eight would get DLC until after the fact, and that makes sense because you can't really you can't really do a whole you, you can't really do a whole lot um, when you have these kind of workplace limits holding it down so at this point in time we're hitting that that stage where the game industry is catching up with a lag that all the other industries have already been dealing with so we're gonna see a lot of a lot of points where we don't necessarily know how much we're going to get from a game uh eldegas is this the final Uh, area oh jirachi just there cool uh, hi hey there legendary mythical, mythical. even <laughs> and bye I guess oh, wow that was the easiest legendary that anyone has ever encountered why didn't we bring some pokeballs he had the job. Pokemon Coliseum uh, demo disc and was able to but get it. Unless they're Master quick. Balls, you're not catching Jiraji with just Pokeballs and not weakening it. I mean, you well, can. It's just like a one in something look, stupid thousand chance. If you can throw Pokeballs as rapidly and infinitely as you throw these apples, you'll be fine. <laughs> there was something flying near the ceiling in this room. I just saw it. Where is it? Probably the Neuburn. No, I think it looked like something else. I suppose it might be the Neuburn. Oh. I like the concept of the Neuburn. The Neu bat, on the other hand, is annoying. But the Neuburn is, is a bat. What is a bat wyvern, and that's that's just cool to me. Wyvern. Hmm. <sighs> sure. Hi, I'm Rian. <laughs> You got a shot there that seriously made it look like Umbreon was posing for you. It's a woo bat. Ugh, fuck the woo bat. That's another one. What's wrong with the woo bat? I mean, it's a zoo bat, but it says woo. It's so fat it has air escaping from the folds as we roll it. (laughs) Woo. Woo. That stupid bit always makes me laugh no matter how many times I see it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite future on episodes. Well, let's get him out of here before he stinks up the joint. <laughs> yep. Also, we have Max walking around. Go lurk. Yep. The internet shit poster. <laughs> yeah. I like how in the same area that we encounter the wyvern bat, we also encounter a fucking golem. Wait, hold on. Where are you going to be a shitposter also, that's not on the internet? Also, hellhounds. You know, some people just use the internet to get up to date on their news and current events. Hey, Absol. Not necessarily making so a comment on So what's with the glowing anything. yellow thing? Well, no, each Illumina or each island has a different color orb. <laughs> they get to roll out. There's a plot reason for it, but basically they're all the same pasture ball thing. Right. So don't think too hard about it. <laughs> But why did they glow? A Hydrachi. It's, it's, it's part of the Illumina Pokemon thing. So we're, we're, we're just going to be encountering whole flocks of this mythical Pokemon, aren't we? No, that was Celebi earlier. Huh? Is there only one Jirachi? Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was a Jirachi. We identified it as such when it was no, but screen. No, but er, no, but earlier there was... You weren't here for it, but in the video we had like five Celebi on screen. Wow. Which we figure was some sort of temporal paradox. What? Why? Five Celebi. 
It's not hard to process. Wow. Yeah, time it tra- is time it's extremely hard to process. <laughs> or was it the Okay, so I, I hope everyone can meet the Time Travelers Anonymous meeting. The meeting was yesterday. <laughs> so what? It was just the same Celebi in the same timeline five times at once? Yes. Okay. Or could we just multiple Celebi? You know, sometimes, sometimes you just want to do a brainstorming session, but you don't have a team to brainstorm with. So you time That's why travel here, back five minutes, five times in a row, and you have five minutes with five versions of yourself in the same place. They're so damn cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Umbreon really wants to play, and Absol's just like, no. Just no. Well, no it, well, it's a guy, Absol, and a female Umbreon, so I assume they're like dating or something. <laughs> That's like, uh, Umbreon made this pose like, come on, let's play, and then Absol just shakes its head in exasperation. <laughs> How'd it go? I mean, that's the end of the ruins. One final boss area left. It's really not even a final boss. It's really kind of more of a victory lap than a boss. Are you just taking photos of the professor? <laughs> <laughs> the professor. Make sure you get Pokemon. our good side. The professor no, was a Pokemon. He, 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 our good side. <laughs> he, no, he's doing the um, Ian Malcolm thing from Jurassic Park. He just has a shirt up and a leg on the table thing. <laughs> I like that shot where he's just getting up and he's all squinty eyed, like he's like really right there, <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> We're doing this now, are we? Which one is I'll send that one in. What are the conditions for a four star? Uh, a very unique animation. That basically you have to set up in some fashion. So, uh-huh. like for example, we had um, I'm trying to think. Like earlier in the previous cave level, Jolty, I'm shooting out sparks. So, because we, we lured a Joltik over, and that got the Jolteon mad. So, when you catch a, when you take a photo of a Squirtle, does it go into like just a category for Squirtles, or specifically yes. a category for Squirtles from that level? No, just Squirtles in oh, general. Okay. That's good. So you might not necessarily be able to get the four star for a specific Pokemon in every stage that they appear in. Yes. It just kind of depends if they're in multiple stages or not. Most Pokemon only appear in one stage, but that's not always the case. Right. So, basically, not only do you need to find, like, a good animation for a given Pokemon, you also need to find, like, which level does those animations. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I mean, I don't like either of these pictures because it's more just glittery crap than the actual Pokemon, but sure. Whatever. Yeah, freaking Solandits. Uh, Solandits are really... I remember that for all the people who do shiny hunting, um, shiny Solandit is like a white whale for many of them. It's not a whale, it's a salamander, but you know what I mean. I was going to say. <laughs> um, and why that is, is because... Only the females evolve, so you gotta get lucky. That's oh god, That's imagine the grind if Pokemon Snap implemented shinies. I still think they should have done it, honestly. Mm. Like, shinies just, were a mistake. I disagree. I think that people, it's something shinies that a lot of people find were a, lot. a mistake. You sound like someone who hasn't had a single shiny in your life, Louis. I know I have. Are you a shiny insult? Like, what? <laughs> I, I, I've run into a few shinies, but like, like there, there's something that make you really excited about the about everything. Like I think that that there's no there's no harm in it. You don't ever need to have one. Uh, they're just something cool that uh, get people excited about the game. Um, no, so they're I just really one more see. thing for the hackers to clone and into Pokemon I mean, trades. Time it's a very pessimistic final. way of looking at it's it. It's like, sure. okay, then every fighting game is bad because somebody's going to go online with a hacked Ryu that has 50 and they're billion gonna get HP banned. and like they're 17 gonna ban- They're going to get their asses banned long before you fight them, so it doesn't matter. I mean... But no one's they, banning the people who are cloning Pokemon. They, they ban well, they people who put to, up but... illegitimate Pokemon. Like, I, did, I think the fact that a Pokemon, like, that there's something for them to hack, I don't think that really 
matters. Like, of course that there's going to be hacked Pokemon. Like, that's just going to happen no matter what. Like, it's if there were no shinies, they just would be max stat hacked Pokemon instead of shiny max stat. It takes like, all the fun out of the experience when you know every good thing that you can ever be offered in a trade nowadays is a hack. But that's not something mutually exclusive to shinies, though. Yeah, no, every, that's, I mean, yeah. and that's, that's an online thing, really, more than anything else, like. My point um, is, whenever you, when you, whenever you focus a mechanic around something being rare and special, you're never going to see the rare and special version of it. You're going to see the fake ass, hacked clone version of it. That I uh, I think that's kind of that's a for... really. I don't think there's right. a I, I I don't I don't think folks just strictly value it on the idea that it's rare, but just the <laughs> color scheme. Because some folks just like it for the different color. Ninety percent of the shiny colors are ugly as fuck, though. That's, uh, that, that, that's eh. definitely that's definitely your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> like not that there aren't ugly shiny colors. Like there a lot of the shiny are, colors right? originate from the fucking Game Boy color, where the color palette sucked. On and they they've changed a lot of them though. That used they? to be on Game Boy. Yeah, they That's did. That's good. That's good. Also, so, uh, Arnius, so how about that shiny Charmander? Well, I mean, shiny Charizard is great because it's black. It looks even cooler. Like, I don't know. Like, it's... I They're harmless. They don't do anything to... Yeah. To well, they're harmless now. I think they were statistically slightly better in Gen 2 when they were introduced. Well, because they were tied which to they IVs, quickly dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Frickin' deer. So, the Y deer is, is the, the boss deer. here. What about Bacon Bird? Did we just forget he bacon, exists? Ba yeah, I guess so, because Bacon Bird's not here. <laughs> uh, now, when we're going to talk about mistakes. Bacon Bird was a mistake. <laughs> like, they have this majestic creature for the frickin' X version of the game. I think it's X. It doesn't it look much X, like yes. an X, but it's got four points, and that's what counts, apparently. And then for Y, uh, we need a legendary Pokemon that's shaped like a Y. Well, let's make it a bird, but what color should it be? Red and white, streaked like fatty bacon. Well, that's a shiny form. It's normally black and red. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the shiny one? Yes. yes. The red bacon bird is the shiny version. So yes. all the versions of that Pokemon that I've ever seen are the shiny versions. Okay. I mean, unless I if so. you've never looked at the front of the box. Well, I've never owned the box, so no, I haven't looked at the front of the box. Or at the 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 Pokemon cartridge or the y or the, the the no, I've never looked at the screen. cartridge. I buy my fucking games digital. Or the if title I buy them, look. If I buy them physical, well, now it just looks like burned bacon. Okay, so it doesn't really make a difference. It's still a bacon bird. <laughs> Are we still talking Pokemon? Yes. Uh, yes. Sure. I'm talking about that ugly ass legendary that 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 is the headliner for Y version. I suppose it looks better when it's red and black, but eh. Who designed that and thought it was a good idea? Someone did. Ken Sugimori? Yeah, I was going to say. No, I don't think Sugimori did that. And it's uh, just I like, know that he, it's Ken Sugimori design. isn't interesting because I know that he gets like most of the credit for a lot of the Pokemon designs, but he didn't do all of them. Uh, he didn't do all of them, and he hasn't done most of them like since Gen Three. The thing is, I like the, the 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 mystical deer from the X version looks like a mythical creature. It looks majestic, luminous, magical, and then you go to its opposite number in the other version, and it just looks weird. <laughs> it's supposed to be a wyvern. Like it's a dragony kind of thing. Uh, why? I think it's cool enough. <laughs> why burn? <laughs> why not? No, he's a wyvern, not wyvern. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was the last level of the game. I mean, if it looks if it's supposed to be a wyvern, then uh, I, I'm not really sure uh, why they thought that was an acceptable representation of a wyvern. 
It looks like they, it, it's, it, it literally sounds like they took the mistranslation Wyburn and made it a Pokemon. What would an actual Wyburn look like? Yeah. A, a Wyvern, Y-shaped strip of burned bacon. Yeah, I was going to say it's a, a letter Y, it's on fire. <laughs> the Wyburn breakfast special. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. It's okay, Lewis. We're almost done. You can get some sleep soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a minute left. Just push through. Hang in there, baby. <laughs> but I actually do really like Xerneas. It's a good, it's a good Pokemon designer. I wish I could get far enough into Pokemon um, X version to actually get one. It's okay, Lewis. You can just tack a shiny Pokemon onto the GTS and get a trade for it. Dude, okay, the color scheme for Xerneas is so sublime, I don't actually want to even see what the shiny version of that one looks like. Oh, it's too bad. It's I'm, I'm going to look it up and put it in the Discord. It's, it's actually mostly the same. It's just the, the dark blue is slightly lighter blue. Oh, that makes it totally worth the rare drop. No, it's like, honestly, I, I like it because it's got the um, it's got like blue antlers now. Like, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, hold on a moment. Mm. Uh, you, Skeptical. Like, you you post it into the thing. It's like it's got blue antlers. I think that's neat. Like, do I think the original set of oh this oh the person eh. in this thing caught it with a with a dream ball? Then that that show off. Eh. 